Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a massive update with Hillary Clinton that you don't want to miss. Now, please, thumbs up the video so more people can actually hear the truth of what's actually going on. Because God knows it's so difficult to hear the truth right now. And that's my mission on this show. We share the truth, drink coffee, and read the Bible. Because God comes first. Amen? Comment God comes first if you believe that. All right, we are going to pray and read from the Bible right now. This comes from the book of Philippians 4. Let's close our eyes today and listen to God's word because it's powerful and we all need to take a second just to step away, put your phone down, keep the audio on, and let's listen. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. Comment amen if you believe that. Do not be anxious about anything. I love that. Just present your requests to God. Okay, my Christian clothing store, GodComesFirst.com, is officially live. This is one of the designs that we are selling, I am selling to help support my show. So if you'd like to do that, today is the launch day. We're celebrating and I am celebrating <laughs> over here because it's a new, it's an exciting journey. I've been working really hard on it. We have over 10 different designs inspired from the Bible and we have some USA themed one too, like God Bless America. And for a limited time, launch special. Use code Dylan for 10% off your purchase and orders over $35 will receive free shipping. So that's a special launch promo that will not last very long. Just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to do that. We'll probably keep it up for 24 hours or I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go check out the site if you'd like to help support the channel. And um, everything is made in USA, by the way. Wanted to make sure I say that. So Hillary Clinton, we have some big updates with Hillary, but first, we also have some updates with Donald John Trump. I don't know if you guys saw, but oh my goodness. I'm trying not to say any bad words. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, somebody said Dylan stop saying holy cow because I don't know. I don't know if they're messing with me or not. I've, I've always thought it was fine to say that, but look how awesome this is. Eric Trump shared this. Oh wait, I can't play that music. <laughs> it's ACDC. But this is a video of Trump's plane flying over. I can't hear the audio, but people are cheering on the beach um, watching Trump uh, plane fly. And then Dan Scavino shared th this video of people getting autographs from Donald John Trump. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. It's really cool. Tons of people waiting for Donald Trump. Oh, I don't know what the heck that is. Weird. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, people just loved seeing Donald J. Trump. Oh yeah, I can't play that uh, audio there. Here's one, you can hear people cheering. Um, the, so playing audio, I hate YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I can't play that one either. Yeah, basically, um, people were just cheering and chanting and tons of people were so excited to see Trump, which by the way, you don't see Joe Biden, you don't see peop thousands of people waiting to see Joe and cheering and getting autographs. It's more like you, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go watch Joe Biden if I was paid five grand. Well, maybe I would. <laughs> then I'd use that money to go get a ticket to go see Trump. Uh, but yeah, you wanna go, go watch Joe Biden, you'll probably fall asleep. Now, do uh, Hillary Clinton, I wanted to play this clip with you guys because it's so funny. So this is a couple months ago and then I have a new clip from Hillary that I'm gonna share with you guys. But watch this, she's talking about Trump's indictment. Listen up. Well, it's hard to believe. I, I don't feel any satisfaction. I feel great 
you know, just just great profound sadness that uh, we have a former president who has been indicted uh, for so many uh, charges that went right to the heart of whether or not our democracy would survive. It was pretty remarkable. And so Hillary Clinton, she's saying that with a smile on her face. And it's so funny because you see, you look at the poll numbers, you look at the people showing up in California, people are hooting and hollering, people don't give a rat's booty about Trump's indictment, Hillary Clinton, more like Hillary w Warlock, which 10 Hillary Clinton, Flintstone, I don't know, I'm trying to make up names here, I'm uh, having a little hard time. You guys, if you, you guys got a nickname for Hillary, for Hillary Clinton, Bill, Hillary and Bill, Bill Clinton, Clinton. I think that's where Now, so, so Hillary Clinton also went on the, on the news and got interviewed about talking about how Joe Biden's going to win the election, which if you've seen the, the polls, and by the way, the Associated Press just told Kamala straight to her face that Joe Biden, 77% of Americans think he's too old to run for a second term and 69% of his own party thinks he's too old to run for a second term. Let's listen to hear what Hillary Clinton has to say about that. <laughs> oh, play, play, play. Sorry about that, guys. Hillary Schmillery Clinton. Next to America goes to the polls. Donald Trump is running for- By the way, what in God's good earth is that haircut? I've never seen a worse haircut in my life from that interviewer. Makes Hillary's haircut look actually normal. Next to America goes to the polls. Donald Trump is running for president while under criminal mm -hmm. indictment. Mm -hmm. This the man who back in 2016 mm -hmm. consistently accused you of law breaking. Mm -hmm. and oh my God, it's literally hurting my ear. She goes, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. After every single sentence, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shut up, Hillary. Encourage chance of lock her mm -hmm. up directed at you. It's pretty ironic, isn't it, that he is now a former president that could face mm -hmm. a jail term. Shut up with your mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Mm -hmm. A jail term. How does it make you feel? Well, I always thought about him. She looks ill. She does not look good here. I've seen recent videos of her where she looks really good. Here she looks really bad. I don't know what the heck's going on. Maybe she forgot to put the spoons under her, frozen spoons under her eyes, eyes that day. And if you follow him, uh, I think you can see it as well. He accuses people of doing things he himself is doing. It's a, a form of psychological projection. Uh, and I always thought- Oh my gosh, Hillary, you're so smart. Psychological projection. Yeah, you're using big words. Psychological projection, you know what that also stands for? PP, psychological projection. We know there's a silent P in psychological PP. PP, poo poo, Hillary. That uh, his record in business in particular, but then as we saw him uh, in politics and government, uh, he was someone who cared nothing about rules. He cared. Donald J. Trump's doing great in business. I don't know about you, Hillary, but I think you could take a book, a page out of Trump's book. He wrote the book on the art of the deal. I still haven't found the time to sit down at a cafe and read it like I'm gonna read, I'm gonna sit down at a cafe and just go like, be like this for five hours straight, everybody walking in and be like, yeah, I'm reading Trump's book. Yeah, I'm an American. Yeah, Trump 2024. So the, the recent polls are shocking if you take a look because uh, Hillary Clinton says, oh, Joe Biden will, but Biden will win. She says she will, she believes Joe Biden will win. And in Florida, they're watching him do crazy things. These, for the job. I, I feel like I could do the job. I'm in, you know, you my mid-70s. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Hillary Clinton says she's gonna, she could run for re-election? He will be in his 80s in a second term. Is too old for the job. I, I feel like I could do the job. I'm in, you know, you my mid-70s. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you might know? could run in 2028. Well, I doubt that. But I think uh, it really... It should be a matter of what he has done as president and pulling together. Um, it should be. It should be. Yeah, I actually agree Brandon with you there. Because he hasn't done jack diddly squat, if, I've, if I, yeah, I have to say so myself. So Donald J. Trump, just in this latest poll, 
uh, ran away with a double digit lead over Biden, a new general election poll found. Joe Biden is wildly unpopular on his age, <laughs> border security, and the economy. Washington Post and ABC, I bet they're thrilled to release this poll, uh, released this poll that found that if the 2024 election were held today, Trump would win 52% to 42% over Biden. Keep in mind, this poll was run, or this uh, article was published on September 24th, so uh, about a week ago now, but this is still the biggest like national poll, I guess, we that we've seen. So I wanted to uh, share that with you guys because that's just the latest one that I've seen. We do have more recent ones as well. There's another poll, by the way, that they put Biden not only again into a head-to-head -head hypothetical matchup with, with uh, Joe Biden versus Trump, but they also did Joe Biden, Nikki Haley, and Joe Biden and Tim Scott, and Joe Biden and Mike Pence, and Joe Biden and Vivek Ramaswamy. And Joe Biden was losing in three of those. To Trump? Golf clap for Donald J. Trump in honor of his golf courses. Joe Biden versus Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley was getting, getting more. Are you joking? Nikki Haley and Tim Scott. I don't know if you watched the debates, but Tim Scott doesn't really seem like the guy who could lead America. I'll put it that way. Vivek Ramaswamy, a lot of people were saying, oh, Vivek did a fantastic job. Vivek did a fantastic job. And then other people saying, I don't trust Vivek Ramaswamy. Then Donald Trump says, well, the GOP debate was more like a job interview for who's going to be my VP. So that makes me think that, well, potentially Trump's going to pick one of those people to be his VP. Is it going to be Chris Christie? I don't think so, because Chris Christie, his highlight of the night was calling Trump Donald. Donald. He's like, hey, you didn't show up. So instead of people calling you Donald Trump, we're calling you Donald Duck. I was like, you want us to vote for you? Like, what the heck? Who? Like, how, what kind of strategy is this? And then Doug Durgum, he, I don't know what the heck's up with this, this dude. I think he's just trying to sell t-shirts because <laughs> he's got his t-shirt store up. I don't know. That was what Ben Shapiro said. Um, but Ben Shapiro actually said Ron DeSantis did well. And I was like, Ron DeSantis was just name calling Trump too. So anyways, Hillary Clinton says she could do the job for president for 2024 which does scare me, and she thinks that Biden will win. Now, Sarah Palin says Michelle Obama will be the Democratic nominee as well as Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz and Sarah Palin both came out and said, don't be surprised, I still say it's Michelle O. 2024 election, Biden's out. That's what uh, Sarah Palin says. Ted Cruz says Democrats could parachute her uh, as in Michelle Obama as the nominee if Biden drops out. So I don't know if Biden will drop out. I mean, he already, didn't he already announce that he's running in 2024? So I don't know, we, we will see. We will keep you guys up to date with that. The Biden did end up signing a bill to keep government funded and avoid shutdown. So just to clear the air on that, Joe Biden did sign that um, on Saturday, September 30th. But otherwise guys, those are the, oh yeah. And I did have one more update with you guys that Hillary Clinton, I guess on her podcast says, <clears throat> or on this podcast with Hakeem Jeffries. Listen to our full conversation on how to get out Democrats' message and win in 2024 on the new season of my podcast, You and Me Both. This, the big challenge often has been from a messaging standpoint that Republicans talk in headlines and Democrats talk in fine print. That's what they had to say. I'm, you, I'm literally, you guys are canceled. You think that Republicans talk in headlines? Look at the freaking mainstream media. You guys are the one talking in headlines. And then you you look at the fine print and, oh my gosh. I, you can't trust anybody anymore. I don't know whether, whether to believe Republicans, whether to believe Democrats, whether to believe independents. I just, I, at this point, I don't know anymore. But who, some somebody who I am trusting is God, right? Because God comes first. So if you want to help support my show, you can head to my website, godcomesfirst.com. That's first with the one, by the way, one ST, God comes one ST first, first place. <laughs> the other one was taken, but yeah, you can go there, check out all the designs if you'd like. Everything is now live. I'm still going to be adding more soon, but this is the first round, first drop of everything. So 
I know it's probably not the prettiest website in the world, but I tried my best and I literally, I know it took me like three weeks to get it all set up and I wanted to make sure it was done properly. And I'm gonna work on making it look prettier, but for now it all works. I'd made a couple test purchases, one on my computer and one on my phone. Everything worked properly. So um, yeah, you, you can use code Dylan for 10% off your uh, first purchase and all orders over 35 bucks will be free shipping. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna help support the show, you can do so, or you can just click the thumbs up button. You can subscribe to my channel, or you can simply just sit here and watch because I love you guys. I really do. Okay, here we go. Let's pray and read from the Bible. All right, this is Psalm 91. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. That's Psalm 91, 11. Amen to that. Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know if you stayed to the end. I love to see when you guys stay to the end. All right, bye now.